Ividian's single sign-on engine incorporates different templates you can use for specific applications. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to add an SAP logon to your SSO. So open your SAP client as well as your SSO studio and create a new technical definition. In the new window you created for this application, click on the window type. Choose SAP GUI scripting, and then go to detection. Now you see that the detection tab is different from the standard login. Indeed, the information required to detect the application are not the same. So you must name your SAP server or group. So name it accordingly to the one you wish to connect to. Then go to actions and check that auto validate login page and the automation of SAP notifications are checked. Click OK and then save your technical definition in your SSO studio and then create a new application in the Enterprise Access Management Console. Now that it is done, let's see if the SSO works. So I'll go back to my SAP logon and refresh my SSO. I will open my TE1 server and enter my credentials in the Enterprise Single Sign-On Data Collect window. The single sign-on works. I will just check again to make sure. So I'll log off and log back on again. And my credentials are entered automatically by the solution. You can also check that your applications have been correctly added through the single sign-on engine. So if I open my Enterprise SSO engine, I see my SAP application with my login name, and of course my password is hidden. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Now you should be able to configure your SAP solution for a single sign-on.